Hi guys, thanks for tuning into the Scan Tool Network. In this video, it's a demonstration for the Autofix D1 Diagnostic Professional Tablet. Uh, this is a kit that I really, really love. I, I, this is one of my favorite tools at the moment. Uh, but we are diagnosing a Mini right now. We're in a Mini with the uh, ABS and traction control warning lights on the dashboard. Now I'm gonna put the link to this kit in the description below this video if you are interested. And make sure you use that link because that will take you to the genuine and official product. Um, we, it's a wireless tool, you can see how nice and slim line it is, and that's one of the reasons I love it really. And it has such a, a high um, level of diagnostic and functionality within this kit. It's a Bluetooth kit, so we have a dongle plugged in right down there where the diagnostic port is, and it's sending a Bluetooth signal to the actual tool itself. So we're gonna click on to diagnostics, and we're gonna go through the process of just basically diagnosing this fault. So we click on to mini, obviously you can see it's a touch screen, very simple and very easy to use and it has a really really nice display and it's very user friendly. Click on to automatic selection if you want the tool to just automatically find your vehicle which is what I'd recommend but if you wanted to put your vehicle information in uh, manually then that's absolutely fine. So it's found our vehicle and it's just going to do a few quick checks and connect up to the ABS system. Well, connect up to the vehicle, should I say. Then we'll go ahead and get a connection to the ABS system. Okay, so we we'll go to diagnosis, go to control unit, and we need to select the chassis system, and it's ABS DSC. So that is the name of the ABS system. So. First thing we do is go to read codes, and that's going to give us a fault code relating to these warning lights. We've got 48082A, permanent fault, wheel speed sensor, rear right voltage supply. So that basically means that the uh, the voltage isn't picking up any ABS sensor in this vehicle, for the rear right that is. It's picking up all the other sensors because we're not getting any other faults. So it's probably a, a, a fault with the rear right ABS sensor, that is what we would always say. In a, in, a, in a situation like this when it comes to faults like this so that is ultimately what this vehicle is going to need it's going to need a rear ABS sensor if you wanted a second opinion or you wanted to maybe double check that information you can do that just go back click the escape um, button and go to live data and then we need to select the wheel speed sensors so where is that wheel speed sensors here it is and then it gives us so what we can do is um, do we need to select them don't think we do. Uh, you just simply you can select them. Don't know why, but um, it's li it's live data. So what you would do is you would just basically drive the vehicle, and you would see the values move up and down as per the speed of the vehicle. So let's say, for example, the front right. ABS sensor if the vehicle was traveling at 20 kilometers per hour, then the value would show 20 there. Um, and obviously it, the the rear right you would expect that to stay at zero because that is the faulty sensor so um, if you're not getting any value any change in values then that's probably a faulty sensor the rest of them should give you the the actual speed in real time if you weren't happy about looking at the tablet while driving then you can just hit the record button and that will basically allow you to record data and then you can review it once the vehicle is parked up so that's the, uh, in essence, how to do it. Uh, so we can just click back on that. And uh, once you've put a new ABS, so this, uh, this car obviously needs an ABS sensor. Once you put the ABS sensor in, it's just a case of clicking the raise codes. Once you've done that, then you can uh, clear the warning lights and get rid of the fault codes on the, uh, the system there. But for this car, it's, it's uh, gonna be an ABS sensor that we repair next. Okay, I hope that video video has helped you. This kit, as I say, it's a fantastic kit. I love this kit. It's so easy and quick to use. And we'll put the link to the genuine product in the description below this video. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helps.